Okay. So, gatekeeper was used yesterday to route calls between one branch office to our call manager cluster and vice versa. And you have seen how gatekeeper works. If you have not seen in action, you are welcome to look at the call routing video that was provided to you yesterday. Uh, call routing video will show you about six, seven labs dedicated on gatekeeper and how to configure them step by step and how to test them as well. So you can't go wrong. Okay. So all this lab that we're doing or I'm talking about, they are 90% of them are available on those resource kit. So use them as much as uh, possible in terms of uh, if you're not sure. Chances are that sometime when you're deploying such solution, you will have uh, some of those labs already pre-configured. All right, now once you have this gateway, so we have an H223 gateway, we have SIP gateway, which is site B, we have an MGCP gateway, what else do we have? Gatekeeper. All these gateways was configured yesterday. I believe you guys, most of you guys configured those gateways, right? Right. Then you have created a 911 pattern. Agree? What did you do with that? You pointed to a specific gateway. So let's say you created a 911 pattern and you create point to the SIP gateway. You made the call. Most of you guys made it to work. But if you had to use that 911 for site B or HQ, what did you have to do? Change it. You had to change the gateway and point it to the MGCP. So there was a question about it. How do I make sure that the site B users use site B gateway and when the HQ makes the same call, they use HQ gateway? Now, we will learn how to use that two ways. One, using a method called calling source space and partition. Second is a method called local route group. But for now, before we go that far, there are a few fundamental things that we have to be clear about. First fundamental thing is that when a route pattern, when a route pattern is configured, such as 911, with its default parameters, pointing to a gateway, this is considered to be a single point of contact. It means no redundancy. There is no redundancy in this environment. If that SIP gateway goes down, your 911 is down. Okay? So when a route pattern points to a specific gateway, that pattern is depending on that gateway. Gateway goes down, the pattern is useless. So there is no redundancy. This type of deployment is good for small business where they have one gateway. Okay? You cannot achieve redundancy in, in this type of solution. So to, to achieve redundancy, we have to use a concept called route group and route list. Route group is basically grouping gateways. Route group is a mechanism of grouping gateways. So let's take a look at Dubai and Abu Dhabi. This is Abu Dhabi, and then you have Dubai. You have gateway at each location. An E1 gateway here, and an E1 gateway here. Let's assume Dubai, you have two E1 gateways for redundancy, for high availability. And one is a primary, one is a standby. In this type of environment, what you want to do is create two route groups, one for each site. One route group, short form is RG Abu Dhabi. And you point this divide, uh, gateway to that route group. Then you create another route group called Dubai. And you point these two route the gateway into this route group. Now, technically, you could have achieved all three in the same route group. And the problem is, the call routing requirement in each city is different. 
the call routing requirements, the number of format requirements for each particular provider from a particular city is different. For example, in Dubai, to dial a local call, you dial seven, seven digit. But the same seven digit may not be a local call in Abu Dhabi. So call routing thing will fail. But calling from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, you gotta dial the city code, zero two. But calling from Abu Dhabi to Dubai is all the way around. You gotta dial zero four. So the, risk, the requirement of the service provider may not meet with putting them all in the same route group. So what is a route group doing? Route group is grouping gateways from the same city. From the same cities. In this scenario, of course. So I create two route groups, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Abu Dhabi, I put all the Abu Dhabi's gateway. Dubai, I put all the Dubai's gateway. Now if I have multiple gateways, the route group has a choice. You can send the calls to this gateway first, and this gateway second, or send the calls linear and circular. Circular means random. Uh, one, call, one call goes here, one call goes there. Okay? So there's two options you have, linear or circular. So again, once the gateways are added, what we use the rod group to organize those gateways.